welcome back again in the sheet metal workshop and today we're going uh, to do a video about um, an elbow two parts like a mitre cut uh, using also a ruler and I think this is also an old-school method and okay for example I just stick here because it looks like a pipeline and just randomly gonna cut So I've cut it out, not maybe the best cut, but just to show it. Okay, so you can see I have here an elbow from a pipeline and I have to measure it and make from metal, from sheet metal an elbow. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'll hold my ruler and I'm going to take this angle so this is the angle so this is for now I don't need then you need a piece of metal so I'm gonna make here this line to be better visible Okay, so now I take my ruler, here the point 0.1 or point 0.0 where the ruler starts, that I put here on the line, and number 40, where this metal is exactly in the middle, is a, is a line here on the outside edge, also on the line. Okay, so... I've got this now I'm going to pull here a line and this line this angle here should be the half of the complete angle okay we are using as usual diameter 180 so it doesn't matter where I place it because it's a two-part elbow it doesn't have a radius so I'm just going to pull it here, somewhere here, make a circle, mark the seam here, here you can see 's are now my numbers one two three four five six and number seven so well, this is diameter 180 circumference five six five then I divide this in 12 pieces here got I overlap 50 mil one side and 50 millimeter on the other side so then I put here the working line as always we always need a line to work from somewhere and we're gonna number it Okay, number four, let's say number four will be the middle where we put in those screws to get it together. So number four is going to start here, here, and it will be in the middle one. Okay, number three, three, two, two, one, five, five, six, six, and number seven. Okay, now the routine comes. Bring over those sizes on the metal so number one we 
going to connect those lines. And you, could, you can do that really with any angle with you, what you want. It doesn't matter what, what angle you take. It's always the same system. Put his wedges in it. So now that I've put it together, see here it fits. Okay, so the only thing what I'm going to do now is swage it. And now it's done. So this is my elbow then. Must should be the same. I don't know if it's sealable or yeah, so if it gets fitted it comes like this. Eh? So I'm only using a ruler, so always put here the zero point on the line. And here in this case it's number 40 it's always the same doesn't matter which angle you have always 40 and 1 doesn't matter thick line this here divided take over those lines and you've got the elbow okay sheet metal working fabrication and developing and showing well see you next time guys and uh, I hope it was interesting